Previously on The Adventure of a Lifetime, we made our way across the United States, north through the Canadian Rockies, and then back south through British Columbia. In this episode, the real adventure begins as we board the Alaska Marine Highway system of ferries that connects the lower 48 to mainland Alaska, mostly used by locals and bold adventurers like us. We're just an ordinary family with an extreme sense of adventure. Whether we travel by land, air, or sea, we will use our various methods of travel to make our way across North America to explore the last frontier. We've driven cross country and now our journey in this van has come to an end. So we are here in Bellingham, Washington at the Alaska Marine Highway Ferry Terminal and we're getting ready to board up. Uh, we got all our bags here. Our car is parked over there. We're traveling on foot from here on out and we're getting ready to board up and head north. So we're gonna be going from Bellingham to Juneau. It's about a three day cruise. Should be pretty awesome. Let's uh, get on board. Here's where we'll be staying the next this is so small. couple of days. Yeah. Snuck in on the top deck of the Mount Nusia. I'll be staying in the tent here. Here's my spot on the deck, and we're getting ready to set sail. And we're off. Goodbye, Bellingham. Yeah. 
The Manuska is a 420 foot vessel based around the ability to move cars and people. It's not made for luxury, but it gets the job done. Here's a full tour of our home for the next three days. This boat is made up of three decks, not counting the car deck. Starting on the bridge deck, which is the highest deck, uh, in the back we have the tent platform where there's a small area designated for tent campers. Moving forward, we have the solarium, which is a closed in area where people hang out in lounge chairs. Uh, some people camp in the lounge chairs. On the inside of the bridge deck, there is a movie theater. This is kind of just an open space, usually quiet. People like to read, um, not usually very busy in there. Moving down to the main deck, which has wraparound out exterior decking, so you can walk around the entire boat. I think the entire boat is about a quarter mile around trip, so people like to walk laps out here. This is the main viewing platform for the boat. And moving inside, in the front of the boat, there is an observation lounge. There's plenty of places to sit. People like to look forward and uh, do some whale watching inside there. Moving back is where you're going to find the cafeteria and where you get your food. Um, they have like a line you go through to get your food if you're buying their food on the ferry. And then there's a cafeteria where people like to go and eat. Uh, there's a microwave there if you want to make your own food. And moving out the exterior door there, you can see the view out the back of the boat. Moving back inside, down the stairs to the cabin deck. Uh, this is where you're going to find all your interior cabins. Um, I don't know how many cabins there are. There's a lot. My parents have one. I'll show you an example of what a room looks like. Some of them have bathrooms. Some of them have, most of them have bunk beds. Uh, they're really simple, but all you need. And obviously, if you go down one more level, you will get into the car deck, which is usually off limits. They will open it up at, from time to time for people to go down and get stuff, check on their pets, which have to stay down there at all times on the boat. That's basically the full tour, and thanks to the help of my fellow teenagers that I met on board. So we are getting a private tour of the bridge deck. <laughs> this is the part of the boat that the captain is and all the navigation happens. And then I've got to run you off here because we're going to stand like through Bella Bella. At least you'll get to see the ship maneuver. That's the horn. The horn. Oh. That's the one. No. No park cars to hit. This was our chance to get out, do some exploring around a super cool port town of Ketchikan. Welcome to the first city, Ketchikan. 
And we're officially in Alaska now. When you're school salmon trying to swim up there, you can't see it because they're blood in. So it's pretty cool. Off the salmon run. Enjoyed our time walking through downtown Ketchikan, cool town, and we're gonna get back on the boat and continue going. We are approaching Wrangell now. We're gonna get off quick and make a quick stop. And here's our quick 10 minute walkie tour of Wrangell. Now we get back on the boat. Leaving Wrangell, headed straight to Juneau. Yeah. At this point in the trip, there was a mechanical problem on the boat, causing them to have to go outside into the open ocean instead of going through the narrow channel area, which caused us to get to our destination even faster. <laughs>
made it to Juneau. We had an awesome three days on the Alaska Marine Highway. Um, and now we're going to be at Juneau for a couple days and then head over to Anchorage. But this is an awesome time on the ferry. would highly recommend doing it if you're traveling north. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Next time on The Adventure of a Lifetime, we explore Juneau and Mendenhall Valley before flying the rest of the way to mainland Alaska.